Welcome, I am John Lira, and in this demo, I'm going to show you how we can query a deployed SQL data service. This is part three. I encourage you to review the part two demo in which I show you how to deploy a SQL data service. Let us, let us begin, and also, I'm going to use Microsoft Excel, but in general, you can use any third-party tool that either has ODBC or JDBC connections to access the data service. So number one, we need to go to the administrator console, which I'm there already, and we got to take note of the name of the data integration service that is hosting or running our, our virtual data object, the SQL data service, and we also have to know the full name. We need all this because when we're, we're going to create an ODBC connection so that Microsoft Excel can use this. So with that information, some of you will know how to do the following, and some of you will not know. On a, on a Microsoft platform, I go to the control panel, and I go to the administrator tools because that is that is where we create the data sources, the ODBC. I double click, and I've already configured mine, but I'll show you how you would do this. You would go to system, DSN, and you would add one. The important thing, is that we need to use the Informatica supplied driver, the Informatica data services driver. So I've already configured mine, so let me just show you. I gave, I gave it the name ODBC Consolidate, so let me go and show you how I configured it. I give it a name that I recognize, that my team would recognize, so we know that it belongs to my data service. The host name, Info-Server, the port number, the name of the data integration service in the Informatica admin console, and the complete spelled out name of the SQL data service that has been deployed. The username is administrator, and the password is lowercase admin in my case, and then I click test, and you can see that it's successful. The, therefore, the service is done. I don't need Microsoft Windows anymore. And what I want to do now is go ahead and use Microsoft Excel. Now, I could also have configured a JDBC and use uh, Squirrel SQL or any third-party tool, but I'm using Microsoft Excel in this demo. Here under Data, I will go to, uh, this is purely Microsoft Excel, select Data, go from Other Sources, from Microsoft Query, and I looked at, I looked for my ODBC define connection. Here it is. And I'm going to log in again as administrator. The credentials administrator. Let me make sure I don't make a mistake. And my password. And here are the those tables that make up that service. Now, remember, you could go to the admin console and you can see those tables. In part two of the demos, I actually show you how we created it and made it into an application and deployed. So you can see the tables, they're right here. Now we're going to use that. So I go back to Excel and go back and query from uh, Microsoft Query. Oops, I already have it open, so let me just make sure that I don't have it. It's probably here in the background. Let me minimize some of these windows and let me just minimize this. And it is, let me just exit and come back in just to make sure that I come back in. There, there it was. It was right there all along. It was just back. So let me bring up Microsoft Excel again. And let's go back and go to data, query from Microsoft and my ODBC connection. And here are the tables. I am going to merely select DIM customers. There it is. And what I want to do is now just type any query. Let's say customer ID, where customer ID is greater than and a list of customers. So I'm already using it. I'm actually using Microsoft to query, in this case, this table called the DIM customers. So anything over 1505, go to next. Do I want to sort the data? No. And go ahead and return the values to Microsoft Excel. And there it is. The results will come up momentarily, and there goes the results. And that is the purpose of this demo. So Microsoft Excel is using it. Let me go back to my notes. And again, in this case, I show you how we can query it. 
and we used Microsoft Excel with an ODBC connection, and that's it. Thank you very much.